Stage 4 kidney disease, also known as severe chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a condition in which the kidneys are significantly damaged and their ability to function properly is greatly reduced. This condition affects approximately 15% of adults in the United States and is typically diagnosed based on an estimated glomerular filtration rate, eGFR, of 15 to 29 milliliters per minute per 1.73 square meters. In this stage of kidney disease, patients are at high risk of developing serious complications, including kidney failure and other life-threatening conditions. Causes of Stage 4 Severe Chronic Kidney Disease The most common causes of stage 4 kidney disease include diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the body's ability to produce or use insulin properly. High blood sugar levels can cause damage to the small blood vessels in the kidneys, leading to kidney disease. High blood pressure. High blood pressure can cause damage to the small vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to function properly. Glomerulonephritis. This is a group of diseases that cause inflammation and damage to the kidney's filtering units, glomeruli. Polycystic kidney disease. This is an inherited condition in which cysts form in the kidneys, causing them to enlarge and lose function over time. Autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases, such as lupus and vasculitis, can cause inflammation in the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. Infections. Infections such as pyelonephritis can damage the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. Obstruction. Obstruction of the urinary tract, such as from kidney stones or an enlarged prostate, can cause urine to back up into the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. Symptoms of Stage 4 Severe Chronic Kidney Disease The symptoms of Stage 4 kidney disease can vary from person to person and may include fatigue and weakness, shortness of breath, swelling in the feet, ankles, and legs, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, difficulty sleeping, itching and dry skin, muscle cramps and twitches, cognitive impairment, and difficulty concentrating. Complications of Stage 4 Severe Chronic Kidney Disease If left untreated, Stage 4 kidney disease can lead to serious complications, including kidney failure. As the kidneys continue to lose function, they may eventually fail leading to a buildup of waste and fluid in the body. Anemia. Reduced kidney function can cause a decrease in the production of red blood cells, leading to anemia. Bone disease. The kidneys play an important role in regulating calcium and phosphorus levels in the body. As kidney function declines, these levels can become imbalanced, leading to bone disease. Cardiovascular disease. Kidney disease increases the risk of developing heart disease and stroke. Reduced immune system function. The kidneys play a role in filtering and removing toxins from the body. When they are not functioning properly, the body may be more susceptible to infections. It is important to note that some people may have multiple causes of kidney disease, which can worsen the condition and make it progress more quickly. Early detection and treatment of underlying conditions can help slow the progression of kidney disease and prevent it from advancing to stage 4 and beyond. In general, dialysis, which is a procedure that removes waste and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are no longer able to perform this function, may be recommended when a person's kidney function falls below 15% to 10% of normal. However, the decision to start dialysis is not based solely on the level of kidney function. Other factors that may be considered include Symptoms If a person experiences symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and fatigue, dialysis may be recommended even if their kidney function is above 15%. Fluid overload 
If a person has excessive fluid buildup in their body that is not responding to other treatments, such as medication and dietary changes, dialysis may be necessary to remove the excess fluid. Electrolyte imbalances. If a person has severe electrolyte imbalances that cannot be corrected with medication and dietary changes, dialysis may be necessary to restore balance. Other medical conditions. If a person has other medical conditions that are worsened by kidney failure, dialysis may be recommended to improve overall health and reduce the risk of complications. There are two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis involves using a machine to filter the blood outside of the body, while peritoneal dialysis involves using the lining of the abdomen to filter the blood. In summary, dialysis is usually used when the kidneys have lost most of their function and can no longer effectively remove waste and excess fluid from the body. The decision to start dialysis is based on a variety of factors, including a patient's overall health, the severity of their kidney disease, and the presence of symptoms and complications. The type of dialysis used will depend on various factors, including the patient's age, overall health, and personal preferences. Stage 4 severe chronic kidney disease is a serious condition that requires ongoing medical attention and management. With proper treatment and lifestyle changes, however, many people with stage 4 kidney disease can maintain a good quality life for many years. It is important to work closely with your healthcare provider to develop a treatment plan that is right for you and to monitor your kidney function regularly to detect any changes or complications early. If you've gotten value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel as this is part 4 of 5 in the series related to kidney disease.